they told me though. You know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna stop me from listening to Temptations though. And Smoker Robinson. And the Marvelettes. The Elgins. <laughs> like the wristwatch. <laughs> I heard I heard a name. I heard a name yesterday. Darn, I'm mad. I because it, it wasn't the duvets because that's the cover, right? That a, a duvet is a cover, but their name was something like duvets or bouvets. It was something like that, and I was like, you know what? They so slick. Oh, it was a that was it the Boudels? The 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 veils. It could have been the veils. It was something like that. I was like, boy, they had some names. Oh, you talking about the second wife? No, I'm not. I'm talking about the first one. Okay, we can have a gorgeous conversation. I'm talking about the first one. Unless he had like a wife, uh, a small marriage before her, the light skinned lady. That's what I'm talking about. That was the one that was uh by his side. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna we're gonna have that. Call me on call me on the bike line, on the bike line, and we'll talk about it. But yeah, so our kind of people, they actually have wrapped up this season. I got a chance to get into it last year. Um, I definitely am if it's not black people. It's people that either look attractive or people that I know. That's what get my attention on most things. It's black people. If it's like all black people, something, and I ain't, and that's not just strictly pertaining to, to movies. <laughs> uh, first, if it's all black people or if it's somebody that look good, that's anybody. They ain't got to be black. And that could be man or woman. Like, just if you're a, attractive looking to me, like in, in, whatever it is that got my attention, I'll click on it. Or if you're familiar, like I, I've seen you before. And so now I want to, you know, look into it. So those, and I don't know if other people are like that, but um, <laughs> are you like that? He said, what was the song? Okay, see that's that's how it is. It it, it all depends on how how I go, cause it, now it could be for me too. Nah, you know what I'm saying. Cause sometimes you see all black people you're like I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and and I, no shame, my people, but y'all we know how we is, so don't act. Oh, okay then, <laughs> don't act. Sometimes you gotta be like, ooh, and that can be on any side. You know what I'm saying? Like if you was raised up in upper ech upper echelon and you see a, you know maybe a bunch of people with baggy saggy stuff i don't know in colorful hair you may be apprehensive or if you was born in the hood you know or the the oppressed areas and you see a group of upper echelon people you might be like oh, i don't know i don't want so it can, it can work both ways now so we ain't gonna act um that's why we, we all just nah that's what they tried to do to us before, and that's why we're in the situation to begin with. See, I'm going to stop talking about putting my friends in a cage, because I said I just want to put all my friends in a cage and just have them. That ain't right. Cage things do not prosper. I want to wear, like, my mom and them, they got birds. You know what I'm saying? They keep them in a cage. So I wonder what it does to a bird's mental, or a snake when they're in the aquarium, or a fish. You know? I'm just a dog being in the cage, period. Yeah, they you know. So this one you see on the screen is called Our Kind of People. Like I said, I started watching it last year. It actually came out last year. There's only one season out. Uh in the I'm trying to see who wrote it first before I get to the cast. Created by Karen Gist and Wendy Calhoun. Okay. Okay. I see. I want to see. Oh no, that's that's Wendy Wendy Raquel. I was thinking of uh, the other girl. But our kind of people takes place in the aspirational world of Oak Bluff on Martha's Vineyard, a historical stronghold where the rich and powerful Black elite have come to 
play for over 50 years. Strong-willed single mom Angela Vaughn sets out to reclaim her family's name and make an impact with her revolutionary hair care line that highlights the innate natural beauty of Black women, but she soon discovers a dark secret about her own mother's past that will turn her world upside down and shake up this community forever. The show is a soapy, thrilling exploration of race and class in America and an unapologetic celebration of Black resilience and achievement. Um, so I am so here for season two. <clears throat> The way they left off season one, somebody got shot. But uh, it has uh, Yaya DaCosta, Nadine Ellis, Ryan Nicole Brown, Elena Bright, Debbie Morgan, Morris Chestnut, McKinley Freeman, Lance Gross, Joe Morton, Kyle Berry, L. Scott Caldwell, Raven Goodwin, Melissa DeSosa, Jeff Hefner, Mary Dressel Hughes. Now, some of these people they name in, they just put them on there because you know I feel like they got to. But um, <clears throat> this is a uh, very great cast: Joe Morton, uh, L. Scott Caldwell, and Debbie Morgan, and Morris Chestnut. Those are some legends. You know what I'm saying? And then Ryan Nicole Brown, I need to look her up because she actually looks like Bobby Christine to me. And so I'm wondering if she related to them some kind of way with that brown last name. But every time I see her, I be like, she kind of gives me Bobby Christine vibes. Let's see. You talk about some. This is what you say. I'm not getting in no cage. Put me on the sofa. <laughs> And he said, that's my show. Uh, our kind of people was good. They better bring it back. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am ready to see season two of it. I was reading some reviews on it. Some people just don't want to get nothing a chance. You know, and I don't know. Some people look at it from a different lens than I do. But I thought it was good. And baby, Yaya da Costa is beautiful. I'm sorry. Hands down, gorgeous, fine, yah, 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 yah. 99. Like, I wish she was my sister. You know what I'm saying? A cousin or somebody, girl. Let me stand next to you and be like, we cousin. But um, yeah, I like her. I really do like her. And 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 actually, this would be one of them ones where the person looked attractive and that's why i clicked on it because the photo I, I was watching on hulu the photo they have is just her by herself with her afro and i'm like oh my god she is so beautiful you didn't see all of the the black people that are on here um on screen it was actually just a photo of her by herself so this is definitely one that i watched because i thought she was cute um but yeah so if you haven't watched our kind of people it is available on hulu and um, I really think that you would like it. Don't be too critical. You know what I'm saying? It really is a good story. And both of the sisters are beautiful. I ain't going um, to hold you, Nadine Ellis. Baby, it look good. Baby, look good, too. So, um, and y'all know Morris Chestnut follow me on Twitter. He still follow me. I always check it because it's like the only celebrity that really follow me. <laughs> I shouted out Best Man Holiday. Um, I remember going, uh, we were on touring with a stage play and we were uh, at the hotel and all of us were watching. I actually still have the photo on my Instagram page. But um, I took a photo of all of us watching it, uh, looking intently at the screen and posted it on Twitter. And um, I think I tagged uh, uh, Best Man Holiday. And so I know he followed me after that. So um, That little thing there, that's a little known black history fact. Morris Chestnut follows Kid Love on Twitter. Um, our next show, 